Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to another video. In the last video, we finished learning 5 essential nutrients. If you haven't seen it, please go back to the previous videos about it. And today's topic we are going to focus on is feeding habits. I'd like to explain about feeding from this video. And First of all, today I'm gonna be talking about the feeding habits of cultured species. So let's get started. Fish is mainly classified into these five types of feeding habits. So I'd like to explain them. The first one is herbivores. These fish feed on exclusively on plant materials. The second type of feeding habit is carnivores. These fish feed on exclusively on animal matters. Thirdly, omnivores. These fish are between herbivores and carnivores. These carnivores feed on both plant and animal matters. The fourth one is planktivores. They feed on planktons. And the last one is the tertivores. They feed on decaying plants and animals matter. I'm gonna be talking about tilapia's feeding habit. Tilapia prefer to eat phytoplankton in natural rivers or lakes. Actually, as you can see in this video, a fish farmer in Tanzania provides vegetables to tilapia. And it seems that the tilapia were eating vegetables well. I think the vegetable was not proper diet for fish in terms of nutrients. And probably they were very hungry at the moment in this video. However, this video show you they are herbivores. So let's go back to the last slide. As I told you, tilapia prefer to eat phytoplankton in natural rivers or lakes. In the lake, with less phytoplankton, tilapia eats not only phytoplankton, but also algae, aquatic plants, zooplankton, aquatic insects, Bentos and organic matter in the middle of road. But occasionally, tilapia is considered omnivorous as well. This might be kind of controversial thing. Let me talk about the ecology of tilapia shortly. Tilapia lives in rivers or lakes with less flow until 7 meters depth. Tilapia is a native in Africa. Normally, tilapia behave making schools. In the daytime, tilapia lives near shore where a lot of phytoplankton are available. During night, tilapia moves to the bottom of offshore. What about African catfish? Quarius lives rivers, lakes, and flood plain that have slow flow. And they can live even if less water environment in dry season. With regard to feeding habit, African catfish is omnivorous. They eat aquatic insects, amphibian, like frogs, crustacean, spiral shells, small fish, crushed plant, organic matter in the middle of root, and so on. That is the end of today's lesson. Thank you for watching my video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and please hit the thumbs up button. See you in my next video.